Starting out as a child star in Kwao and Sa's films, Galia Ansa has blossomed into a 360 performer. What? Are you aware as a child? Come on, Betty. I just want to have my laptop checked. Oh. Yes, and you. So why did you tell George you, you see someone? I mean, the guy likes you. You should give him a chance. Oh, and hone skills in dance, acting, and singing. Her single Changing is available on all streaming platforms. Hi guys, so this is Galiansa and um, AKA Araba in Yolo. And yes, I'm here to answer all your questions. So I think we're just gonna dive into that right away, all right? This is 50 Questions on the Pave Network, a show where your favorite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the PAVE studios for the guest of the day. So my first uh, question, are you a musician? Yes, I'm a musician. As a matter of fact, I just released my first single. It's called Changing, and you can have access to it on all music platforms. So go have a listen and also download Changing, all right? And the next one is coming pretty soon. So look forward to more. Um, well, the next question uh, say so what genre of music um well i i do mostly high life soul music uh jazz occasionally you can maybe akrebi other ones a film you know what i mean yes um what's the next one when is yolo season six coming well that's a very good question um for now, we are not very sure, but as soon as you know we, we get any news, you guys will be the first to know. So let's all be on standby, right? Um, why did you cut your hair? <laughs> Looks like everyone is attacking me on this. Okay, so I cut my hair for health reasons and um, I'm gonna grow it back, so don't worry. Yes, you have your hair back. Um, what's your thoughts about Jogba trying to trying to move to you um uh, i don't know let's see yeah, let's see if there's season six we'll see how that goes um which shs did you complete oh i went to soul clinic international school i mean the best school in the world on for me it's a fact and uh someone says oh this, this is a very good one so comparing the love of AA to YOLO, which one would you take to be your best of performances? Honestly, it would be hard to because these are two different characters I played. Even though there are like a bit and bit of similarities here and there, maybe when you take it, that motherly instinct, uh, there's a bit of similarity, but I would say that they all have uh, their respective challenges and fun. So, and I, I honestly had fun with both characters. There's no way I can actually pick a stance that this is better than this. I've learned a lot from both sides, so hmm, I go with both. Um, how did you end up with the burn on your forehead? Hey, Okay, so I had a car accident uh, in 2017. That's why I have the, the mark there. So yes, now you know. Um, Is there a role left for someone to play in YOLO? Um, maybe. Well, of course, once there's an announcement that uh, season six is coming out, I'm sure that there'll be more characters to be developed. So yes, there's definitely gonna be more roles for people to play if we have, you know, season six coming out. Why do you behave rude toward Drogba? Oh, <laughs> that question, that's not what I know. <laughs> We have to ask the script writer why. For me, they have no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> How were you treated in high school after shooting Papala Sisi? Interesting. Well, honestly, I think my friends were proud of me, one, two, but nothing really changed. Um, we were so cool. You know, when I came back, everybody was, you know, like giving me all the high fives kind of thing, but we were so cool. Um, we were so fooling, I mean, Still doing the normal regular things students do so it wasn't really you know like different but at least 
uh, the fact that they were proud of me, they were proud that at least they have somebody they know closely uh, on screen, you know, it gave them that excitement and I was also excited about it, so yes. Um, what else? What else, what else, what else? Um, what would you do, what would you do if you're given the power to rule your country? Hmm, interesting. Well, for me, me, I love art, so everything about art. What I would do, if I have the power, I would make sure that we really invest into our art industry, trust me. I feel that's where the money is. Unfortunately, we don't know. Well, unfortunately, people just, leaders in quotes, just don't pay attention to it, but really, that's where the money is. So I would really invest into the art industry if I had that power, honestly. That's what I would do. Who is your role model? Oh, okay, I have a few actually. Uh, so there's Nina Simone. I'm sorry, I'm a bit high, old school. So Nina Simone, um, Sade. Um, there's Erika Badu, Queen Latifah. Um, who else, Greer? Who else, Greer? Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston. Um, who else? Uh, uh, we have uh, Michelato. I don't know if you guys know Michelato, but Michelato, yes. So these are a few role models uh, in my life. And then, what else? What else? What do you do when you are stressed? Fantastic. For me, what I do when I'm stressed, I dance. Uh, I do meditation. And then also, uh, I do yoga a lot. And then I cook <laughs> when I'm stressed, I cook. Um, and then I write, I write songs when I'm stressed. So anything to just take my mind off that stress, no, I do it. And then I watch movies a lot, um, comedy to be precise. And then I sleep as well. And then what else? Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? What else? Well, I have a few crazy friends in, in my life, so when you're stressed, sometimes you need them, you know, to just take you out of that stress. So you just make a few phone calls or just normal WhatsApp chats here and there. So basically that's what I do when I'm stressed. What should the world expect from Kaliansa in the next five years? Fantastic. Well, in the next five years, uh, my... Uh, movies should be out there. My organization should be running smoothly. And if you're interested in knowing what my organization is about, simply training artists with special needs and push them into the uh, limelight, which is the main market stream, right? Aside that, within five years, I should be able to release at least five albums. I'm very ambitious, so yes. <laughs> That's it for me within five years. Hopefully, Nyamente will achieve all that. Uh, what's your biggest challenge in the industry? Um, for me, I think basically the fact that artists and arts in general aren't taken seriously. We're mostly disrespected, I feel. That, that is a challenge for me and it's a problem. Because when it, when it happens so now you, you end up losing a lot of hope, you know, in the, the, there's no hope in, 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 the, in, in your creativity anymore because you try your best and people just take it for granted. I think that is a challenge. That is a challenge. Um, so, basically. What inspires you? Hmm. Well, one, food inspires me. <laughs> food, travel, money, family, these are things that actually inspire me. So if I have food, oh, I'm the happiest girl. What has been your worst moments in life so far? And if you did overcome it, how did you do it? Well, for me, my worst moments, um, I think I had battled with depression and sadly, I think, I don't know if it's just 
our part of the world is just human being. When you're going through a lot of trouble, a lot of anxieties and depression, and you actually voice it out, they just, you know, like have a habit of brushing it off, like, it's part of life, let's go, you know, that kind of thing. And we really, really need somebody to talk to or tend to, it's quite sometimes difficult to find the right person. So for me, that was more like a, my dark moment. Have been able to overcome it thanks to arts, especially uh, music and dance. I've been able to carve like a platform where I can actually express my emotions and then I let it go. So most of my art or my creativity is actually all like based on personal experiences here and there. So for me, through art, through dance, um, I've been able to overcome some of these, you know, dark moments. Um, so if you're interested, uh, following the same path, of course, uh, I'm available to assist. When you're coming, you come with your credit card as well. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, so yes, art has really helped me a lot to overcome some of these things, basically, yeah. So that's it, thank you guys. Um, I really had fun. Thank you for all the questions. Um, I hope um, I've been able to answer all of them. Uh, on that note, kindly go subscribe, like, and share uh, the PAVE Network on YouTube. And also PAVE Ghana on all social media platforms. Thank you so much. It's Gali here again. Much love. Thank <laughs> you.